from the author of Spinsterella, The Strange and Unusual Romance in Spellbound, a darker shade of black gum, the legendary Mad Matilda. Pick up the conclusion of the Spinsterella trilogy in paperback and key readers this Halloween. There are many still in the comic book industry who do not like the idea of creating all ages or family friendly content. And when it comes down to the dire straits that the comic book industry is in right now, there is a desperate need to get all ages and family friendly content back on the shelves of comic book stores because with many comic book stores closing due to poor sales of comics from Marvel Comics and DC Comics and many indies struggling, we desperately need to find a way to bring new readers into the median. With the median age of a comic book reader being 40 years old, there's a desperate need to bring in younger readers. However, when people go to a comic book store these days and even look into the pages of a comic book, they find content that is not family friendly. I have heard from many people who are mothers and fathers say that they want to get their kids into comics, they want to share comics with their kids. However, the content in many comics is either too graphic, too sexual, or too violent for them to share with their children. What they're looking for is something similar to what we had in the 1960s and the 1970s and the 1980s where we had this content that was action-packed but it met a certain standard where it was usually PG or PG-13 violence and that type of violence was usually not gory, not graphic and it was usually something that people could give to their children without feeling uncomfortable. When it comes down to today's modern comics, they're so graphic that many people who have, or parents who collected comics, don't want to share them with their children. And we desperately need to get new readers into comics, and you can't get new readers into, con into comics if the content is not something that parents find appropriate. Now, when it comes down to comics, they really, again, we really need to try to go towards creating something that's more family friendly because a lot of people in the, on the creative side they think family friendly means something like these old school Disney comics or Archie comics but that's not the case at all you can do action and adventure in a family friendly way and a PG way because that's how I write my ISIS series books and that's how I write my East Team series books and they fe feature content that yes it's got action it's got adventure and some of the stories even have a little cheesecake, but it's still PG, PG-13. And most people feel comfortable about giving those books to their children because I've had people say they feel comfortable about giving these books to their children. They say it's something like it's written for a child, but people who are older also can pick up these same stories and read them as well. And this is what the comic book industry desperately needs to try to bring in those new readers. We can't continue to sustain the industry on people who are over 40 years old because once you have a, a audience that's over 40, that's when businesses like your Disney and your Time Warner say that the customer has aged out because there is no place to go with that customer other than the grave. As a consumer, they have, they're, they're starting to have declining value to the marketplace. That when it comes down to customers, they're looking for younger customers, and younger customers have value because they're going to stay with the product for at least 25, 30 years. And when you have a median age of 13, 14, and 15, companies want to invest money in that. And that's why comic books desperately need to be a family affair. I see a place for customers who are 40, 30, 20, and even their teens and tweens, and there is a place for everyone, but the only way we're going to get to that place for everyone is if the content is family friendly and fits within the parameters of PG and PG-13. Because if you have PG and PG-13 content, then parents feel comfortable about having letting their kids pick up these books, and then the parents themselves feel comfortable about reading these books because they meet the same consistent standard that they grew up with and now they feel comfortable about these characters because they are continuing to promote the mission, the values, and ideas that they grew up with, and they are passing that on to their children. 
when it comes down to comics, people want to pass these heroes on to their kids. But these days, they, what's impeding them from being able to pass these characters on to their kids is the sad state of affairs in the comic book industry, where we have many people who, who are in the industry and on the creative side who want to create content that they like, but don't want to create content for the reader. When you're creating commercial content, you have to think about your audience, and you have to think about what messages you are sending to your audience, because when you are creating a commercial product like a Marvel comic or a DC comic, you're creating a product to appeal to a large audience of readers, and those readers are looking for characters that promote certain ideas, certain values, and certain concepts related to life, and certain things related to morality. And we're not really seeing that in superhero comic books these days because instead of us getting a world of black and white, we're getting this gray area. And in this gray area, everything is winding up becoming jumbled and confused. And it's hard to teach a kid a moral lesson for, about good and evil when you have characters who are good guys one minute and bad guys the next. Or you have good guys making compromises that are make them amoral or immoral, or you have bad guys who are pretending to be good guys. So there is no clear picture for anyone to see of what a hero is. And this is another big problem with superhero comics is that we don't know who the hero is, we don't know what their mission is, and we don't see them consistently sticking to their mission. This is, again, a problem that is leading to people not wanting to buy comics because it's hard to share a character with your children if that character does not promote a certain mission related to morality and core values and that's something that is seriously been missing from many modern comics where everything is this big gray area as I see it right now comic books have to go back to being a family thing a PG-13 thing and c producing content that appeals to readers of all ages I know if I can produce content like, like the ISIS series and the East Team series, which features characters that are featured in PG-13 stories that appeal to readers of all ages, then Marvel and DC can produce that same type of content. If a small independent publisher like myself can write those type of stories, then what is stopping the publishers at Marvel, DC, IDW, Boom, and Dynamite from producing that kind of content and making an effort to reach out to the next generation of readers. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to try out some of my SJS Direct titles like the ISIS series and the East Team series, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.